This is my radio control plane that I designed in Fusion 360 and printed on my Ender 3. This first flight shows she has enough power to hoover. Flight number two ended prematurely. That was going well until uh, the power just completely cut. My cheap Amazon speed controller couldn't handle the power draw from the motor. I glued the nose back on and gave it another go. It's so unstable. Oh no! Oh! That tree, of course, you know, you just have to clip the only tree around. I thought this was game over, but I got up my super glue and got it back together. I threw a camera on it this time. The extra weight was probably not a good idea. This is flight number four, looking pretty good. Here we see in the slow motion, a high-speed stall spin. We need the bag to recover this one. Well, that, that doesn't look good. Nothing left of the nose. Tail is... Tail is not looking good. You know what? I may be able to salvage this servo extension. That's a bonus. This airframe is now in permanent retirement. And we're on to printing plane number two. This process takes about three weeks on my Ender 3. So if I crash again, I may have to buy a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Maybe on the next flight, I'll try some low level aerobatics. I probably shouldn't have used my dining room table for the glue up. Yes, perf. Look at that. I almost made this part slow motion because I'm pretty proud of my hatches. This is the maiden flight of an all new airframe printed out of lightweight PLA. The first version was out of Pet G, which was a bit on the heavier side. Version 2 was lightweight PLA, and I added winglets, which really seemed to help it fly better. Okay, it survived! Successful mission. It was a bit windy, but uh, we landed with a plane in one piece, so I think that's pretty good. Maybe we should retire it now. I've got pretty good at high speed uncommanded snap rolls. I'm really not sure how the plane was in one piece after this. I figured I better land after that one before I have to get my bag out again. Successful flight number two. I don't know how well the video showed it, but I uh, definitely lost my orientation there for a bit.